Hello, welcome back to my channel, welcome to uh, today's video. I nearly said tonight's video because I'm recording this at maybe, yeah, seven o'clock at night. But anyway, by the time you see it, it'll be a morning video. Welcome to today's video. It's this week's car boot sale haul. I have stayed out of the charity shops all week. I don't honestly don't think I've set foot inside a single charity shop in the last seven days. But I did go to two car boot sales this morning. Although I've done a live stream with Lex this morning, I didn't do my car boot sale haul. This was for two reasons. One is that Lex isn't car booting at the moment, which means that I kind of, if I do it during the live, then I monopolise the live with here is my stuff, which feels very unfair. And secondly, I had done 50 drafts yesterday. All the stuff I had drafted was all around me. There was nowhere for me to unpack my car boot stuff. So I didn't do it live. Here it is for you guys now. Two car boot sales, and as I've put it on the table here, I've managed to sort it into which one it came from. So we're gonna do the second car boot first, because that's the easiest stuff to get at. First up then, I picked up this sea salt bag. These sea salt dupe shopping bags, I've had mixed results buying these. I only paid 50p for it, which means you can't go wrong at 50p. If you can get them in practically brand new condition, they sell really quite nicely, and I think some people might even collect them. This is the sea salt Cornish beach bag, and it has seen a little bit of life, but even so, for 50p, I expect to be able to get £5 or more for that, hopefully. There's a pile of stuff there at the back that is probably the bargains of the day, but I can't get to them without knocking some other stuff over, so we'll work our way through to them. I paid £2 for these Yours Clothing sandals. Yours Clothing is a, it's a plus size brand for those who don't know and it has gradually increased in price over the last couple of years. When they first came out they were a real rival to Evans in the plus size clothing industry and their prices were fantastic. As they've managed to subdue Evans and take over the lion's share of the market their prices have risen which is sod's law. The reason I picked these up is not just because yours clothing are more expensive now, but because these are a size 10. A lady's shoe in a size 10 is a difficult thing to find and somebody will want these. I paid £2 for those. They're in pretty good nick. They haven't had very much wear. Size 10 ladies' shoes. Ladies, I think women as a whole, we're getting taller and, and broader and bigger feet to go with it. You know, they, I think the days of women with tiny petite feet are perhaps, um, perhaps behind us. I mean, I've gone down a size since I've lost weight, which is nice. I paid £2 each for these next four items. Three of them were from the same lady and then the final one's somewhere else. So it's uh, there's a Whistles jumper there. Feels really nice. I mean, Whistles is a good quality brand anyway. But I'm just wondering what the fabric content is in here. Made in Mauritius. Keep away from fire. It's 94% viscous and 6% elastane, but it feels really like it might have a silk content. So it's a it's a well-made jumper. That was £2. Basically, I said to her, how much are your clothes? And she said, some are three, some are two, some are one. And when I took the three that I wanted, they all turned out to be £2 each. One of the others from that lady is this uh, House of Brewer, which is a Scottish brand. This is an extra fine merino wool, just a plain grey jumper. Merino wool, always worth picking up, and House of Brewer, always worth picking up. And I'm sorry if you're Scottish and I'm mispronouncing that. It's probably pronounced brach or something, but I'm not Scottish. And then the third one from that lady, also £2, is a Bowden microfine cord knee length skirt in a fawn shade. Not murk, fawn. <laughs> and really nice Joe Brown shirt. Talk about things that feel like lovely quality. This feels like beautiful quality. Joe Brown's men's shirt. I don't often see Joe Brown's men's stuff. They do some interesting floral prints for the more flamboyant gentlemen. And that was £2. The gentleman even tried to give me the wooden hanger that it was on and I didn't want that so I gave it to the bloke next to me who plainly did. 100% cotton and yet it feels super, super soft. I paid 50p for this Jamie Oliver Get Your Coat You've Pulled mug. I've not seen this shape before and yet watch this space. Like buses, you don't see the men too come along at once. So 50p for that one. Two for 50p on these ones. So these are uh, Dunoon and they are... Helen L. Smith designs. One is, sorry, I haven't got my reading specs on as usual. One is fashion for broad sheep, for board sheep, and the other one is a dictionary of cats. So there's the bathrobe, bedlam, the baba skirt, the youthful look, <laughs> knitwear in many hues, Rambo, <laughs> and so on and so forth. Oh, specs back on. This one, unfortunately, has had a bit of a trip through the dishwasher and it doesn't always do your mugs much good, so the design is a bit faded on that one, but this one's in much nicer condition. This other one is um, a dictionary of cats. 
So two for 50p was a bargain on those. A bargain is a bargain to begar we were trilled. Name that quote. And a bargain, but a bargain is a bargain and begar we were trilled. See if you can tell me what that's from. Some of you in the comments will recognise that. Okay, so, oh, they, oh sorry, 50p also bought me a Port Myrian, 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 Port Myrian, Port Myrian, wherever. It's a botanic garden. And I presume it's, what are they, they call it a cactus pot. It's very rare that I find Port Myrian boxed and they call it a cactus pot. No idea of the value, but definitely more than 50p, eh? I'm going to move this, I'll come back to this one in a minute. This pile here, which you can't see, I've just realised. This pile here. This is definitely today's gotcha pile. So this lady charged me £5 for all of this pile. And I said to her, are you sure? And she said yes. So there are three pairs of shoes. These are Prevo Clark's red ones. A little bit of wear, but not a lot. A pair of Riker ankle boots. Always a nice brand to pick up. Same lady, obviously. She's even stuffed them with her. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. What the lady has used to stuff her boots to help them keep their shape is a new, new and unused, extra large ladies accessory sanitary towel. I will make sure I take those out before I post them. I mean it's a brilliant idea, they've kept the boots in lovely shape and like I said they are new and unused thank goodness but there's one in each shoe. They're not cheap, the lady must have had spares. From the same lady, a pair of hotter shoes. So she wanted a pound each on the shoes so that was one, two, three pounds on the shoes and then she wanted 50p each on these tops so that took us to four pounds and the tops are jewels. and Bowden. So that took us to four pounds and then I also picked up these two and she said I'll oh, call it a fiver. These two are a Triumph Doreen bra, brand new, lovely find. If you get those brand new, always do. And this, which is definitely today's pickup, this horrible item is a Pachamama Peruvian jumper. They are varying prices, but all of the prices are high. <laughs> Thanks for that little lot from one that one lady. I'm hoping the battery isn't going in the camera. Something flashed at me, but it might just have been the light balance. And then seven pounds for this next lot. Turn you again. Seven pounds for these bits. No, that's not true. Twelve. Twelve pounds for these bits. Five pounds for. I've got two single bed sets. They are vintage St Michael. In a little ditzy rose print. There's a frilled duvet cover for each set, a frilled pillowcase for each set, and a flat sheet for each set. So two sets for a fiver on those, I was really pleased with that. And then these which are not quite as exciting as I thought they were when I bought them. They are kennel pals, I've got two. She wanted five pounds each, um, but she did two for seven. I can smell cigarette smoke on something. It's not those. I'll find something smells of cigarette smoke. I'll get one of these out to show you. So yeah, they're called Kennel Pals. And each one is a dog with his home. So for example, this one is uh, Dachshund. And it says Dachshund lives in an Alpine chalet. So there he is with his little Alpine chalet. And then the second one is Corgi. And obviously it says, Corgi lives in a palace. I think they're really nice. They are a limited edition collection. They have the certificates of ownership, etc. in the boxes. However, they don't seem to sell for very much. I couldn't find any uncompleted that had gone for a lot of money. But they're, they're really nice. Somebody will want them. And it is coming up to Christmas, so maybe, maybe a collector will get them to add to their collection or something. That was all Trench Lane car boot, which we went to second. This is all from Easter Compton, which I went to first. So having said that I don't see that Jamie Oliver mug, I've never seen that shape before. Two in one day. This is an overworked and underpaid. 
The nice thing about this, it was completely free. I purchased this from this lady. This is a Shude Hill uh, salt and pepper set. I've got one in stock already, which is a cat with a ball of string, I think. And this one is a squirrel with a nut. Daddy long legs just went past me. <laughs> I'm not scared of them, but it just fluttered into view. So I paid her £1.50 for that. And while I was looking at that, I spotted the mugs and bent over. And she said, oh, if you want any of the mugs, they're completely free. I just want rid of them. So I said, thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. So I got that one and this one, which is a Cadbury hot chocolate one in an unusual shape. I feel that at some point in the past, there must have been this chap on a Cadbury's hot chocolate advert. And yet I don't remember him at all. Another piece of Port Mirian Myrian Murian from the other Cadbury itself. 50p for this one as well. And this is just a small bud vase bud vase bud vase bud vase josh which way round is it again it's botanic garden a lady had a table with everything for 50p and from her everything for 50p i got slimming world's one for all extra easy and all in one these are in almost unused condition i think most of us very rarely cook anything out of the recipe books it's not often that i find a slimming world recipe book at the car boot sale that looks like it's been well used <laughs> they were 50p each and so were these three that's not my books so i've got kitten fairy and tiger and i think i might have enough to do a bundle now because i've got a feeling there's a few more lurking over there somewhere should have enough to put a bundle on this was the first thing i bought today and it was two pounds for this gibson's jigsaw it is i don't normally pay two pounds for a jigsaw but it's a really quite a nice one it's cream teas and queuing by val, Col val goldfinch and it's basically all very British things. It says, from Stonehenge to wife carrying, to celebrate our 100 year anniversary, Val Goldfinch has created a marvellous and beautifully illustrated collection of, of 100 historical landmarks, quirks, and idiosyncrasies from our island nation. Sit down with a lovely cup of tea and enjoy piecing together the familiar and surprising places, pastimes, and traditions found in this wonderful commemorative jigsaw puzzle. It looked like a really nice one. I don't know whether Mum will do it because it's a thousand pieces and she usually prefers 500. But I just thought it was a very, very nice jigsaw, and so I thought it was worth my two quid. These three, oh, this is where the smell of cigarette smoke is coming from. They were all from one lady, and she must have, um, must have been a smoking house, so I need to get rid of the smell of those. And that's unfortunate, because this is sea salt, and it's brand new with tags. Now, for me to be able to sell that, it needs to no longer smell of cigarette smoke, which means it needs to be washed, which means I need to take the tag off. Strictly speaking, as long as I declare that in the listing that this item is new and unworn, however I have washed it to remove an odour, then it is still new with tags, but it's a, it's a very difficult area to work around. I think I'll probably list it as used and just state in the listing what's, what's been done. Anyway, sea salt dress, she wanted £5 for that and she wanted 5 for the duvet cover and two for the top so that would have been a total of 12 and in the end I think we settled on eight so the duvet cover is the Ikea Rosalie Kath Kidston Ikea featuring Kath Kidston I think Ikea x Kath Kidston I don't know how you how you say it but Ikea Rosalie Kath Kidston I don't know if it's a double or a single and I do know there is no pillowcases which is mildly disappointing but again smells quite strongly of cigarette smoke so that needs dealing with and then the top from the same lady is jewels and again that's going to need washing hopefully one wash will be enough to get the cigarette smoke out eight pounds for that little pile of three things that's a, that's really good pricing even if I, even if i do end up not selling the sea salt as new because i have to wash it it's still really good to get that for eight pounds almost all that's left is my um stuff from steve i paid steve four pounds so i didn't really do filler bag i just grabbed a few items and paid him four pounds there's a totes umbrella which looked like it was in better condition in the dark barn this morning than it actually is. So I might just keep that one for myself. There's a wooden stamp for card makers, which um, has pictures of people dancing and a 30 style band behind it. I picked up this pattern just because I liked the shape of the jacket. It's a simplicity pattern. I think it might be new and unused. I don't think, yeah, it's not ever been out of the packet. So Simplicity Pattern, Life on Mars Series 1 and 2. Now these used to be a really good pickup. If you saw these, you would pounce on them. I think the, the, um, the hype around them has gone a bit now, but even so, to get them in for four quid was okay. 
a float suit, flotation swimsuit. Have I got it upside? I've got it upside down. Let's try it the other way around. <laughs> a flotation swimsuit the right way up. This um, basically you know, stops your toddler sinking. Another vintage emu puppet. Now this will be the third one that I've picked up in the last couple of months. There he is. Yeah, so another vintage emu. And two thimble racks. I went through a phase of getting loads and loads of thimble racks and I sell them all. They all sell, but I hadn't seen any for a while. So four quid for that little lot. And then finally, my last four pound of the day, which was actually one of my first four pounds of the day, it's just upside down the table, was these dormer country garden honeysuckle rose curtains i know these are worth selling because i sold mums about a year ago mum well not, not not i didn't just take her curtains down itself she was done with them obviously but yeah so when i saw these i was like that's that's honeysuckle rose again we'll have that i need to measure them and find out the um width and drop but they were four pounds that's it that is the haul and all of the haul i oh no oh, tell a lie and the jug well, i see i moved the jug didn't i said so we'll come back to that and i forgot the jug was £2. The brand on the jug is the Abbeydale Collection. They do some really nice jugs. I had a quick look at the car boot while I was there. I had a quick look online. And I paid £2 for it and I hope to get 12 That's the haul and all of the haul. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I've rattled on. Somebody said um, on one a couple of weeks ago that I speak too quickly when I'm doing these. And I think the reason I speak so quickly is because I'm trying to make sure I get it all out before I forget what I paid if I was to leave this and do it several days later I wouldn't have a clue what I paid for any of it my brain won't retain the information so I think I rattle on to try and remember what I paid for it and also because I'm aware that maybe you don't want these videos to go on for hours thank you for watching um, as always if you have seen anything I know I say every week if you've seen anything in this video that floats your boat don't wait for it to go on eBay I've got a death pile that could um, sink a ship so it might not go on eBay for ages. There's an email address underneath the video that you can email me on if there's anything here that you're interested in. Um, don't message me on eBay for items that aren't on eBay because eBay don't like it and I get my fingers wrapped for that. But by all means, email me if there's anything you want to talk about and I will be back soon with more of whatever I do here. Take care. Bye for now.